guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and today I am going to do a review on this nail file from Born Pretty. Comes packaged in this nice plastic. It's white. It actually has glitter on it. I'll just get it out of the packaging. Uh, you can see on here it tells you the grit number. So on one side it is 100 and on the other it is 180. Just by running my finger over it, I can tell you that this is the 100 side and this is the 180 side. The grit is a reference to how strong the sandpaper, which is effectively what a nail file is, um, actually is. The higher this number is, the finer the grit is. So this is a fairly uh, rough file uh, in comparison to other files that you can actually get. Um, I might buff with 180 but I certainly wouldn't try to buff a nail with 100. This, is, this would be the grit that I would use to shape a nail um, or uh, shorten a nail or a uh, shape an acrylic nail um, would be like a hundred. It would also be what I would use maybe to uh, take the shine off of the nail before adding an enhancement um, very gently obviously. Uh, this side here is a lot smoother like you can feel as you rub your finger over it but 180 is still not the finest. Uh, I have files that are 240 which are what I prefer to do like a final buff of nails with um, because they're so much finer than what this is. It's quite thick, it's um, spongy, so it's got some give to it. That's why it says it's a sponge file as opposed to like this one here. This is a board file and um, I'm pretty sure that this is 100, 180 as well. Um, and you can see that this side is considerably rougher than this side is. Uh, this is the side that I use to shape nails and this side is the one that I use to smooth them out. Because I put uh, gel on top of acrylic enhancements, I like gel polish, I don't go any finer than this one. But if I was just using, um, if I just wanted to buff a nail and I didn't want to put a finish on it or something, um, I would probably go to like a 240 um, but I wouldn't like this one here is an 80 and it is considerably rougher um, and this is what I use to take off uh, product and prepare nails used very gently of course I do know what I'm doing so what I thought I would do is I have my thumb which generally doesn't get very much attention um, because it's not the nail that I show in my pictures. I could do this hand which kind of needs a fill but I'm not going to because it's my non-dominant hand then. Um, so I'm going to start with the rougher 100 side. This nail has a gel sealer on it. Just basically a hard gel over the top of acrylic um, so we'll just see how effective it is. I'm expecting this pattern to come off very rapidly. Um, I have, and because this is a sponge file also, I don't need to, um, soften the edges of it with a file like this. It's why the edges of my files look really, really rough, is because you take another file and you run it along the edge of your file to take the sharp edge off. That's not necessary with one of these because the edges are quite soft and they're not going to um, cut into you or a client or anything. Whereas with a board file, um, that edge can cause damage to the skin. So I'm just going to... Yep. It's as effective as I would expect it to be at 100 grit. You can see it quite easily took off the shiny layer of the gel sealer that I used on the nail, which would be the first step if you were trying to get off an acrylic enhancement. 
so yeah it's actually really nice it feels really nice um, I'm not concerned as I go like this about hitting the cuticle area because it is so soft I don't feel like it would cut in which is really nice um, yeah it's not bad at all I actually really quite like it that's that's really nice um, so it has sort of left little cut marks which is what you would expect because it's quite a high high grit This is like really good for, particularly if you've got like a client who's like super sensitive, like has an older client whose skin like cuts really easily because it feels like nice and soft against the skin. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Um, the other side, I will just, yeah, it feels just like my other buffers that are at the same. 180 kind of grit it does feel a bit weird if you catch it on an edge or whatever because it's sort of you dig into the sponginess of it um, I have the same problem with those white buffer blocks that's actually literally what it feels like um, is a white buffer block uh, I don't know if I've got any lying around here um, but yeah it's got that same feel as white buffer blocks and it has left it like nice and smooth it's taken out most of the scratches that would be a surface that even though I've now touched it and I now ha would have to clean it but that would be a surface I'd be perfectly happy to put gel polish onto it's smooth but it's not so smooth that the gel wouldn't stick to it properly which is why you need a slightly rough surface on the acrylic for that but overall I'm actually pretty impressed it's nicer quality than um, you might expect from such a low cost brand um, I will put the price on the screen somewhere I will also link you directly to this product on Born Pretty if you're interested in getting it um, I do have a coupon code which will save you 10% on full price items and that is half x 31 I believe I'll put that on the screen as well um, and it will be down below in fact it's always down below um, so uh, yeah it doesn't work on stuff that's discounted but if it's full price you will get 10% off so you're free to you don't have to use it but you're free to if you want to see if you can save a little bit of money um, yeah so that is it for this video uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like review videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!